Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Raggedy Crochet, where you will find everything I yarn and crochet related. Um, if you are new and you're just joining me, um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you look below in the description box, you'll find a link to all my tutorials. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. And I also have lots of yarn content as well, because I do like to talk about yarn. If you are a returning friend, thank you very much for coming back. Um, everybody hit that like button now and show you what I have today. So today I have some mystery boxes from Mary Maxim. Everybody always asks me, where's my favorite place to buy yarn mystery boxes? And most of the time I always say, I have a, I have a few, but Mary Maxim is pretty much if you're looking for quite a bit of yarn for not a lot of money, it's usually value yarn. Um, that is the place to go. So I have three of them here. I'm really excited to see. Um, now, sometimes if you buy more than one, you'll get the same thing, and sometimes they're different. That's the thing with Mary Maxim. You really don't know what's going to be in them. But I've bought Mary Maxim's mystery boxes for a, very, <laughs> a long time. And I very seldom, I'm never disappointed, oh my God, because it's a mystery box. You know, that's just a chance to take. But I just think that they have some pretty, it's a pretty good deal. So mystery boxes are $30. Usually you can find a 20% coupon off of Mary Maxim. If you go to Google and you type in Mary Maxim coupon codes, they should pop up with some codes. Are right, you guys ready? All right mystery boxes are so fun even if it's from the same company because you're not going to get i'm not going to get the same thing i you know that not last time at least i oh well, i don't think so anyways all right so these could all be the same they could be different or they could have like the same but different colors yes 29.99 a piece okay here we go so looks promising all right so they come with they always come with uh patterns summer knit summer crochet that's beautiful look at that but i don't read patterns so i always save them i had a, I have a huge pile of patterns and pattern books that i received in mystery boxes from over my time on youtube and i use give them away to people and giveaways and whatnot but yeah that's beautiful yeah they got knit and crochet patterns here so it's like four or five patterns there so that always comes in and then yarn that i just dropped out all right let's see what yarn we got here come on two okay so i have a burnett tweety i've had this yarn before one time i think i like the brown my favorite color look at that so this uh, yarn will not be for everybody as you can see it's kind of a novelty looking yarn looks like it could be a little difficult to work with but i think it would turn out something pretty like you'd have a pretty looking pillow here if i used this i would probably put another like four four weight or three weight yarn with it like like an acrylic that way it uh is easier to work with it feels nice so they classify that as a six weight but you know, that's just, so it's kind of, it's kind of like homespun, but a little, it's a little not, that's different, a little different, I guess. It's 83 cotton, or 83 acrylic, 17 cotton, 247 yards. I like it. The pillow is beautiful on it. It looks like it has a little bit of a dark to light change there. I like it. 247 yards. So I got that. Ooh, and I got some more brown. I got some Caron Simply Soft Party Yarn. Gosh. I haven't used their party yarn in a long time. I like this. I do. I have a hat made out of this exact same color. Um, so, the it feels good. It feels like regular. It's like regular Caron Simply Soft, but it's got the sparkles in it. It's a medium weight number four. 99 acrylic, 1% metallic. Approximately 164 yards. Well, I got four of those. Nice. Nice. Ooh, something new I've never seen. I like to see new things I've never seen before. Euro Baby. Soft Cotton Worsted. Oh, 
fairly soft, like uh, kind of like a microfiber soft, not like a Pima cotton soft. It's, oh, it's a cotton acrylic blend. Okay, 55 acrylic, 45 cotton. It does feel nice though. Uh, medium weight number four, 464 yards. And it's going to be uh, self-striping, pink and purple and white. I like that, it's nice. I only got one of those. Oh my gosh, a Bernat Pop. It's the Pop. Pop Chunky, or Bulky. Bernat Pop Bulky. Now, I will be honest with you, I have never been a fan of Bernat Pop. Not their four weight, nor their Bulky. Um, I can use it, but you know what? I think what I don't like about it, I only have one tutorial out of like a thousand on my channel that I ever used Burnett Pop in. It was a bag. I think it's that what I don't uh, particularly, and just because I don't like it doesn't, doesn't mean that you can. I just don't think I like their color combinations. I think that's what it was with me. But that one's actually pretty. I like that. You know, that's just, well, that would make a nice pretty blanket. I think. Of course, you'd have to have more than one for that, but this is their six weight, so it's very similar to, you know, um, is it acrylic? I don't even buy it enough to know. I, I, I mean, I, I never buy it, actually. I bought it a long time ago. 100% acrylic. Yeah, 147 yards. So, it's kind of like a Caron latte, or Caron uh, chunky cake. I, I guess I just don't think I've ever really enjoyed the colors of Bernat Pop. But, this one is, that's what's pretty. So, I got one of those. And then I got some Mellow Spun. These seem to be coming in their bags quite a bit. I like the Mellow Spun. It's a nice soft yarn. It's really squishy soft. I like the green. Kind of a spring green color, I guess. Medium green. It's a DK. Ultra Mellow Spun DK. It's a 70 acrylic, 30 nylon. So, I have four of those in the green here in my mystery bag and then i got this too which i love i like kodiak yarn i like that dark blue well it's kind of a royal blue it's not a bad blue i like that it's pretty i like that it's solid i think i got some of these in my last mary max some mystery box but they were a different color uh fair isle kodiak fair isle is no longer in business so it's a discontinued brand of bjorn but, you know, they had all right yarns at the time when it was in business. This was one of my favorites that, that they had. Um, it's a medium weight number four, 157 yards. And it is a a wool, wool blend, uh, super wash wool. So, it's roving style, as you can see. Very pretty. I make a nice warm hat. I love wool, though, so i'm always gonna like that so i got four of those so that was oh and then you get this nice bag a lot of people like to use these bags to store their projects and whatnot so that's what i got in one mystery bag from mary maxim i like it i think my favorite though is that blue kodiak um i like the party yarn of course i like the party yarn okay so that was one of them let's see if the other ones look like they could possibly be the same actually like i said you never know with mary max sometimes they're the same and sometimes they are not so let's see um before i pull it all out i can just take a quick peek saying yeah i got my patterns are in the front they appear to be the same i got the Bernat tweedy same color another pop the same color yep everything in this one is the exact same all right that worked out for me because if I decide I don't know if I'll use that pop or give it away but if I decide to use the Bernat pop more of it is better because <laughs> there's not a lot of yards on there so and then let's look at the last one who we got it appears like it is similar as well I'm not gonna open it because it is the exact same thing so I got my pop the baby yarn the Tweety four of the uh party yarns there you can see the four kodiaks and the four mellow spuns that's my mary maxim mystery boxes i like them i'm not disappointed i always enjoy opening mary maxim's mystery boxes
I'm going to ask you a question, and people ask me all the time, what do I do with all the yarn? Well, I don't keep it. <laughs> what do I do with the yarn I buy? Well, on my channel, I buy yarn. Uh, mystery boxes because it's fun to show people. I showcase small businesses, and I like to talk about new yarns. So when I buy them, I show you, talk about them with you, and then um, in the end, they are either given to my neighbors. I have a few neighbors around me that um, that uh, use them, given given away. I uh, give away through to you people on YouTube through giveaways, and people on YouTube other ways, which I will not mention. At the moment, um, I donate them to retirement facilities, or don't, or uh, put in mystery boxes. So that's what I do with my yarns. I actually, other than that right there, which is um, it, it's a millen yarn. Um, I only have about uh, the two tilted yarn that I keep for myself. The rest goes uh, uh, donated or given away, like I said, or put in mystery boxes. So there, that's that's the answer to that question. I do not keep yarn for myself anymore. Um, only two totes is all that I keep for myself. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in my next video. All right. Bye guys.